I'm Tom Ackerman. It's the Pitcher's Pitch on KMOX.com with former Cardinal Kyle McClellan. He can talk pitching with us as the Cardinals take on the Brewers this week. Jaime Garcia, Lance Lynn, and John Lackey in this series, Kyle, following an outstanding effort by my guy Carlos Martinez, who continues to grow. I don't even think he knows. I know he doesn't know how good he really can be, but he looks good. Michael Walker looks good. Do you feel, before we get into these starters, that – you like what the rotation is doing right now. Yeah, absolutely. I like what they've been doing all year. You know, you have uh, um, Martinez is, I feel like each start, he's kind of growing, taking something little out of each start. And and yesterday, don't don't forget that that was a tough emotional start for him with uh, the family at Tavares in the stands and the tribute before. So for him to be able to channel all that and have what I think was probably his best start of the year uh, was pretty impressive. Now you take on a team that's at the bottom of the standings. Cardinals have the best record in baseball, and you just have to put your foot on the gas this week and take care of business against the Brewers. Starting things off is Jaime Garcia. What can he do, Kyle, to set the tone for this series? He's just getting more confidence. As Jaime's last start went on, he got better and better as it went. The more innings he gets, the better he's going to feel, the more comfortable, the more confident. So for him, you know, I said before his first start, give him three or four starts before we really see – uh, the real Jaime, and and I think you know this is probably going to be we're going to see flashes of it for the majority of the time, and then I think maybe his next start he'll settle in and and be the guy that we're used to seeing when healthy. So, but nevertheless, with him, he's going to go six innings. It feel like every time, I and mean, he gets you deep in the game, and it's because his ball moves so much he can get so many account so many outs early in the count. What about Lance Lynn? What have you seen from the big fella? He, you know, Lance is just steady, and and I, I feel like he's got to get deeper in the games than, than, than what he's done consistently this year. You know, I feel like uh, this year he hasn't gone as deep as he normally does, and he's a worker, so they're counting on. So once he gets that straightened out, uh, he'll be fine. But, you know, Lance is Lance. He just he goes out there and wins every time he goes out, and, and he gives the team, even if he gives up three in the first, you know he's going to be there giving you a chance to win as the game goes on. And you know what you're going to get from John Lackey. The big Texan makes no – a mistake about it. He throws strikes, and he's just yeah. so good at home. Why is he so good at home? <laughs> I don't know. There's some guys that it's just you know it's just the the comfort of the routine. Uh, it just all falls into place. But but he is. He's always ahead in the count. He's always o one o two one two. And and when you do that, you put the hitter on the defense and and make them hit your pitch. And if they want to flip and be aggressive, it plays right in your plan because he's making quality pitches early in the at bats. And he's getting those outs on those first second pitches if they want to start swinging. And now we're seeing these pitchers go deeper into the game. And you're seeing these bullpen roles be defined. We know Seth Manis, the double play machine, and Matt Belial does good things for him. But Kevin Segris in the eighth, Trevor Rosenthal, who's on an all-star game path, yeah. now with 15 saves closing the game, Kyle. Yeah, they've been they've been really good. Segris, when when he came in spring training, you know, we were all talking down there. If he can get back to his form that he was two years ago this is a guy that it doesn't matter righty or lefty you can throw him in there because he's throwing 96 with nasty stuff and guys just don't seem to square him up so uh, that's a big piece for this bullpen you don't have to play matchups you can throw him out there Rosie's the same way Rosie's been off to a a great start and a lot of that has to do with the lack of walks and and it's really made a big difference for him you give these guys free passes late in the game, it's tough to be successful. You have to take advantage of the Brewers. Don't look past them as the Brewers come in here taking on the Cardinals for three. We have the game tonight at 7-10. Tomorrow's a 7-15 game. And then John Lackey throws the first pitch at 12-45 on Wednesday afternoon here on KMOX. You can see those and many other personalities at KMOX.com slash Mac. Kyle McClellan, talk to all of them. And we talk to you before every series. We appreciate it. All right, thank you. That's Kyle McClellan. I'm Tom Ackerman. The Pitcher's Pitch on KMOX.com.